Hello, hello, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey, I'm glad to see you today. I have my iced coffee, I have my comfy sweats, and I'm here to give you guys a what's in my school bag video for today. So since it is back to school season, I thought I would show you guys what I bring with me in my school bag when I'm going to class. So depending on the season and the semester I'm in, the items that I bring with me will vary, but a lot of them are some key items that I always bring with me. And I've actually managed to size down quite a few items in my bag, so I'm not breaking my back every time I go to class. But before we jump into the video, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel so that you guys can keep up to date with all the videos that I do post. Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's get into what is in my school bag. So this is the current bag that I am using for a lot of things, but I am also dedicating as a school bag for when I will be returning, hopefully next semester. It's just a long champ bag. I feel like a lot of people have these bags and know what these bags are, but it's very spacious and I'm able to fit a lot in this bag. So the first thing you'll usually find in my bag is my phone if I'm not already holding it in my hand, of course. So depending if I'm holding onto it or if I have it in my bag, the first item is going to be my cell phone. Self-explanatory, we all have cell phones, we need to bring it with us. Yep, first item is going to be my cell phone that I bring with me pretty much everywhere. The next thing that's in my bag is a planner. This should be self-explanatory. Whether you prefer to have a digital planner on your phone or your computer or a physical one like myself, pretty much everything I have in my life, I have to have my planner with me. And also in here I have my student card, some extra stickers, sticky notes, things I need to do. Planner is very important. I always have this in my bag. So the next thing that's in my bag, which is extremely important for school, is my iPad Pro and also my Apple Pencil. Pretty much I use my iPad Pro for everything. So I use this to store my textbooks. I use this to take notes on my GoodNotes app. I organize it by semester, course, in-class lectures I put on here and I make notes. This pretty much substitutes for a laptop. I find carrying a lap around a laptop hurts my back. It's very clunky. This is a fraction of the weight of a laptop. This also has over 200 gigs of storage. Pretty much the whole time for my undergrad, I've had no problem having my iPad Pro, and I actually prefer it over a laptop. So, and then of course having the pencil, this just allows me to write my notes instead of typing. I find that I recollect information better. These go hand in hand, and this case specifically came with a keyboard in case I do want to type some stuff out, then I will bring that as well. That's usually attached to the case. And then I just have this little silicone case around my pencil so that it has easier grip and it's just this like dusty pink really cute this is pretty much where my whole life is for school all my lectures all my notes everything absolutely everything in here even though i have an ipad the next thing that i have in here is a pencil case i really like this clear muji one one i'm able to see everything that's in here and i also like the texture it's held up very well throughout the years and i pretty much just throw all of my stationery in here and the reason why i bring a pencil case with me is just in case there's an attendance sheet that the profs like to pass around or i need to sign something or submit something that it has to be in a written form. I just have this just in case, or if, again, I'm working in a group and it requires that we're writing. Um, it's just in case, pretty much. So anyways, pencil case, must have. Next, to piggyback off of the pencil case, I will bring a book with me, just a very thin lined book, just in case, again, I need to write something down, or just in case they need something that's physically submitted. Maybe I wanna take a physical note that day. Whichever it is, uh, I bring a thin Muji book with me just in case for that reason. I only bring one of these because this is enough paper for whatever I need, you know? So yeah, Muji notebook. One thing that I no longer carry in my bag is my wallet. And the reason why I don't carry my wallet on me anymore is because I have my student card in my planner. And if I need to pay for anything, I have my cards already on my cell phone and I just tap with my phone. So now I no longer even have to carry my wallet. And to be honest, I never really use cash. So now to get into the little details of my bag, the first item that I have in here is some deodorant. It's actually a men's deodorant. I am a girl who sweats and I like to smell clean. I like to make sure I'm not sweating and being, you know, nasty. <laughs> in the case that maybe I go to the gym or maybe I'm at school all day long and it's hot and I'm sweating and 
you know, I need to touch up a little bit. I'll either go get some baby wipes and wipe under my arm and reapply some deodorant. I sweat a lot. I don't think it's, <laughs> and I don't think it's normal how much I sweat. So I find that the men's deodorant works the best for me at least. Um, and I also haven't been able to find an aluminum free deodorant that works really well for people who sweat a lot. I feel like you could still smell it after an hour. So don't know why I gave you this long explanation for just deodorant, but yeah, deodorant. Next item I have is perfume. This is just a random one that I have, just so that again, if I need to touch up and just do a little spurts, you never know, you wanna smell good. So um, yeah, this was just an example of what I put in here, but I always have some type of perfume on me just in case. So yeah, just have some perfume in my bag. Next item that I have is just some random hand cream. My hands can get dry, especially during the winter time. I just make sure I have some hand cream for myself or if I'm with my friends and somebody's like, hey girl, do you have some hand cream? It happens a lot more than you would think, at least for me. So yeah, any hand cream will do. I just make sure it's like a smaller size. Any smaller hand cream is something that I just throw in my bag and make sure I always have at all times. Next should be self-explanatory, but I have a charging cable for my phone and my iPad. Usually on the tables at my college, there are little outlets, so you don't even have to really like plug it in behind you near a wall or anything. You have to have this with you when you have your phone and especially when you're using an iPad Pro for all of your notes in school. So, yep, so just a quick charging cable here. Next item is just lip balm. Yeah, usually I do have a lip balm on me because again, just like the hands, nothing is worse than having like chapped lips. And I try to stay away from the little pots. I usually leave my pot lip balms, the lip balms that are in those little pot containers, not like 420 pot, okay? <laughs> lip balm, always have it on hand. Next two items are a hair tie and, you know, a tampon. I feel like ladies, you have to have these on or pads on you at all times. You never know in case there is an accident, emergency situation. You wanna make sure obviously for this to have it on hand. So, and then of course, hair tie. As you can see, your girl has very long hair. I usually actually carry one or two of these with me just in case one breaks. But yeah, just any elastic hair tie is important. Gotta have a bad hair day, put your hair up. Really hot outside, put your hair up. Look weird and just, you know, sweating. Put your hair up. Hair tie, hair tie, hair tie. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand, but hair tie. And the final item in here, which is totally random, but I have like hauls in here, only because again, for the winter time and the fall time, in case your throat starts getting a little itchy, a little sore, <laughs> you wanna make sure you have some hauls to soothe your throat. And something else that I actually forgot to put in here is gum or mints to make sure that you're breath is smelling good. I think personally I have some type of stomach issue so I get bad breath faster. But either way, I have gum and I have mints just in case uh, my breath isn't smelling that great. So yeah, so I think that's pretty much it actually. So those are all of the items that I like to bring with me to school. Again, as you could see, a lot of these items are just kind of some core essentials. And sometimes again, like I said, I'll add some stuff depending on the semester or the season. I'll take some stuff out. Maybe I'll bring with me some gloves and I'll put my gloves in there when it's winter. You just never know. But these were the core essentials that I love to bring with me and I have to bring with me to class when I go in person. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel a lot. And it tells me that you guys really enjoyed the content. So also I heard that every thumbs up you get, Christina Aguilera comes to your house personally and brings you a birthday cake. Not my words, this is just what I heard uh, through the grapevine, so now you know. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, wherever you guys are, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.